What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks so much for hanging out for a lesson. We're going to do this song, Feathered Indians. Really like this artist. I really like the guitar parts in this song. Speaking of guitar, hopefully you were enjoying the tone from this acoustic. I just put on a fresh set of these strings. These are wood tone country series acoustic guitar strings. They're halfway between light gauge and medium gauge. So they're a little bit easier on the fingers, but you still get that sweet tone. And I know you want that tone. They've got a nice warmth to them. They also put a very light coating on to uh, maintain the life of the strings. But these are great for country and bluegrass. I'm gonna leave a link below for you to check them out. And also I wanna give a huge shout out to Woodtone Strings for sponsoring this video. So thank you for that. Let's learn this tune. All right, I got the capo on the fifth fret and we're gonna start with this D chord, but don't worry about the high E, so. And you can even hammer that second fret G when you first strum it. So then I'm doing a hammer on with my pinky uh, up to the fourth fret of the G. Hammer and, and then strummed off. So. And then a pull in that index off of that G so it's open, so. And so you're doing a similar thing with an A chord. So I'm going to A major, and I'm playing it with just my index finger. You know, power chord style. So I'm hammering on, pulling it off, and strumming again on that fourth fret of the D string while I hold the A chord. Then I'm doing a similar thing, and I'm pulling off that open D string from the second fret where I'm holding that A major chord. So from the top. So I'm just, you know, even though I'm holding the whole chord, I'm not going with the whole A, I'm going just really emphasizing that open D string. So we're hitting the uh, middle finger on that third fret low E, and it's, if you strum it up, up to the B string, or just up to the open G, your, it, your middle finger mutes that A string. So it's a great way to play a G chord, and that's what's going on here, because we're not hearing the higher strings. And it gives us our index finger to play the second fret on the D string and the fourth fret. Verses, no fancy stuff. D A G. And it holds on G longer, right? And
right, so the next section, A da da to G. We're gonna do this four times. A to G. Third time. A da 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 G. Now it's a very Tom Petty right here. We're gonna do a B minor. If that's hard for you, you can do a B power chord. B minor, A, G. A second time. B minor, A, G. And then A hits on one, two, three, four. Into the, you know, into the next part. So, one more time, four times A to G. There's three, third time. Here's the fourth time. Now two times on the Tom Petty. B minor, A, G. Minor, A, G. Now A hits on G. Now it's a fiddle part, but you can keep adding. ends on the B minor but those are all the parts so hope you enjoy it all right I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson once again shout out to wood tone for tone uh, anyway thanks again for uh, sponsoring this video and check out wood tone strings this is the country series which is a perfect uh, medium between lights and medium gauge once again I got a link below for you guys to check out Thanks again also for supporting Marty Music, you guys, and I hope to see you real soon. Take care.